This is the making a click track in the multi-track using the timeline features video. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you how to make a click track using the features in Saw Studio. Because Saw Studio just doesn't have like your traditional metronome. And uh, you can use the JMS metronome and you can watch how to use that in that, that video. But you can also make a click track and do whatever you want in the multi-track here. So what I've done is I've recorded uh, uh, some sounds off of my Dr. Beat uh, metronome. And I just recorded them right into the uh, you know Saw Studio, and now I have them here. And then I edited them, and I got the low sound and the high sound right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, what I want to do, the first thing you do is you you you, you got to map out your, your tempo map. You know, how, how many bars is your song going to be, whatever. You can just make your song, you know, a straight, you know, 100, 4, 4 beat song all the way through. Or you can change it any way you want. So we're going to start the song off, and it's going to be at 100 beats per minute, 4, 4. But I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to get my, I'm going to want to set quarter notes. You can you can make it any way you want. You can have 30 second notes if you want, but for this demonstration, quarter notes. I set it at quarter notes, and it's a 4/4. I'm gonna go up here to timeline. I'm gonna go to set the tem oh, tempo map settings. I'm gonna set the tempo at this position, and the dialog box opens up, and it's at 100 already. And I'm gonna press enter. Then I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna cruise down you know that's three measures we'll set right here at the third measure I'm going to I want to change that tempo to 200 okay and then I'm going to go another couple measures here right there and then I'm going to go back to 100 so I go back up here set tempo and you can you see you can set the time signature and you can do all kinds of stuff in here but this is it all works the same um as far as what what you're doing so i'm, I'm setting the tempo here i'm going to bring it back to 100. now look here watch watch up here as i click we started off we we went to 200 here it, see how it changes pretty cool okay so there we go now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select that area. I had it. That's the area that I have the tempo map changes on. And what I could do is this. I could I could select. Um, oh, there. Go right here. Say your song's X long, you know, whatever. Okay. So now I have it set. I'm in tempo mode. You have to be in tempo mode to do what we're doing here. And you got to have the grids grid on, you know, with the G key. Now, I'm going to go up to the low sound. I'm going to hold down the control key. And I'm going to click insert. Now, I just inserted this sound into the my click track. And uh, you can see it right there. There it is. And now listen to it. Perfect. Pretty cool, huh? Now, this is, you know, this is not just a metronome. This is Now, I can make this any sound I want. I can EQ it. I can do any, I can do anything I want to the sound. I can manipulate it to any sound, anything I want. I can put effects on it or anything. But now, I want a high pitch sound on the, you know, I want an accent on the first beat. So... I'm going to go down here. I'm on the I'm going to go to the first beat. There it is. Cuz see I'm in grid mode so it just snaps right to it. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click the whole note. So it's only going to go to the whole note. Then I'm going to 
<clears throat> mark my uh, my position here. I've got that all marked out. So what I do is I go to the high sound. Oh, I have to. I, I'm sorry. I have to select this area. My mistake here. Get ahead of myself. Select it right there. Now I'm going to select the high sound, and I'm going to hit the control key. Hold down the control key and press enter. Now, when we go back home here, now we've got the high sound on the first note. Pretty cool, huh? So we have that. Now, I can take this, I can select this, and I can process build mix to new sound file I want it to be mono oh there it is mono and I press uh, OK uh, I had I've been testing this out here so yes now watch now there it is right there got the accents on the first beat pretty cool and it's rock solid timing rock solid now I could also go up here and build the mix um, to uh, to the current hot track which would be that one and say okay and I would have it right up here in the MT and there it is and then that that that's the the click track I could go right up here to regions and rename that my click and there it is and you can get rid of you know you can select those get rid of them so they're not uh in your way so you just started a, you're you're doing a session a song on a session oh jeez come on um and you want to uh You know, they have a song that's going to go to this beat, to that uh, measure, and all that. You go in there and you set up the, the click track for that song. And there it is. You know, take you know once you get the hang of this, you can do it in, in a minute. Take a couple seconds, as long as you have the sounds that you want. So that's how you, you set up a click track in the multi-track in Saw Studio. And it's a very, 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 very powerful click track and it's totally it's all automated and everything you can you can add automation to this click track you can do anything you want to it so it's not just your regular old dr. beat uh, click track and that is the click track video for you